Environmental degradation, underdevelopment are major issues in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, and these have always been the contention for agitation and restiveness among the people. Niger Delta consists of diverse ecosystems of mangrove swamps, freshwater swamps, rainforest, and is the largest wetland in Africa and among the ten most important wetland and marine ecosystems in the world. But due to oil pollution, the area is now characterized by contaminated streams and rivers, and these have affected the social economic life of the people. Galaxy News correspondent Levi Joseph has more in this report. Environmental issues in the Niger Delta are caused by its petroleum industry. More than 2.5 million cubic feet of natural gas are flared every day in the Niger Delta. This process emits greenhouse gases and other pollutants into the atmosphere and also wastes a valuable resource that could be used to generate electricity or heat homes. Mangroves are being lost because of water pollution and all efforts by the people have not yielded positive outcome. The environmental impact assessment is of monumental significance to the people of the Niger Delta, to the environment and to the entire ecosystem. Because without a very effective environmental impact assessment, we discover that the entire Niger Delta can be wiped off through this route. So precautionary measures must be taken to avoid that kind of scenario. During the regime of Wari, immediate past uh, government, they made arrangements whereby they even have a kind of committee agency in respect of mopping up or cleaning the environment all, uh, in the Niger Delta area. And they told United Nations, in collaboration with United Nations Agency, that they are going to clean up the whole Niger Delta, which I thought they have started that time. But it's very unfortunate up to now, no much progress has been made. And that's very, very unfortunate. And the present government now, I don't know whether they have taken it upon themselves to even do anything. Not that we don't want dredging. Know that we don't want our water to prosper other people. Not just our environment. Bridge Pot is there, Cocoa Pot is there, Shabla Pot is there. They are not interested. We are peace loving people. Don't provoke us. Don't provoke us. Environmental degrees. The other day I, I mobilized blind students here. They are here. I mobilized them to Chevron. Block Chevron headquarters. I said Chevron blind your eyes with gas flaring. It's part of an environmental problem. The Niger Delta region is made up of nine states, namely Cross River, Edo, Delta, Abia, Imo, Bayelsa, River, Akwaibom, and Ondo State. The region is with 25% of the Nigerian population of total of about 140 million people and the region have been neglected for long because the attention government has given to the area does not commensurate with the revenue being generated in the region. Well, the issue of NDDC, they have become a big elephant in the house. Understand? Uh, I feel for the people of Niger Delta. But the issue is that what happened to those who are governing them, their leaders, what are they, how are they been fearing with the people of Niger Delta? We have Ministry of Niger Delta, we have NDDC, we have so many other committees in charge of taking care of Niger Delta people, but how far have they fear? Do you know one time about different boards were constituted right from the time of uh, um, this, uh, this man, Professor Ovia? I think you can remember, during the time of Professor Ophia, the issue of Niger Delta has been in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the music. And up to now, nothing has been done. The CDC has really not uh, helped the Niger Delta. Because for, especially in my area, the impact is not felt. Roads are constructed in our neighborhood, but we don't benefit. So generally, the problem of abandoned projects has been like a part and parcel of the Niger Delta Development Commission. So I will call upon uh, the current uh, members of the executive to make sure that they follow the execution of the contracts awarded to the letter, whereby people are only paid when they are effectively delivered on the contract they are awarded. My last question, sir. The NDC, we are uh, 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 plagiarizing them. 
There is little we can do because government appoint the people and government will still frustrate the people from doing their work. Government will set up boards. Now government is even disturbing them that they should be in TS, uh, T, TSM or TLC. What as we is fighting government? Uh, uh, NDDC is also facing that. NDDC cannot do project fully on their own. They have to go through just like the Nigerian constitution that has tied us down like as if we are slaves in our own country. The Nigerian constitution. It's the same way the constitution was manipulated, the same way every structure they give you, they were arranged to manipulate it. That is our problem. The planned Lagos Calabar coastal highway is a welcome idea to the people of Niger Delta because there's a belief that it will help to boost the economy of the people and improve their social lives. For example, Cross River State. The initial even move, we first employ more than 300 to 500 young people. Women to feed people along the contract uh, site and all that is. Yes, we were idle in our area. We want this idleness to stop. It's one of the things to stop the idleness. So to engage our youth, to engage our women, to engage our people, this is one of the uh, areas. And you know that between Lagos to Ogun State, or part of Ondo State, is smaller than from Akwaibom down to Ondo State. So we are going to experience the, uh, the area that will massively engage labor, manpower. So we have to be in check. I rightly emphasized in my lecture, I was in the spirit, I've answered most of all your questions. The truth is that the Lagos Calabar Highway project is the best project that has ever been cogitated and um, uh, kind of implemented, likely to be implemented by the federal government. And this one has a uh, kudos to the uh, President uh, Bola Amen Tinubu's uh, administration because he has taken Niger Delta problems head on and uh, his commitment to the implementation of this project is monumental, like I said, and is appreciated. Down to Port Harcourt, about five because it's a straight road. You are not going to go through Ibadan, go through Oko, then either go through Bini, then go through Delta and start following Old Patani Road. And all of that to the Ayanagua and all of that down there. You understand? You are just going straight. So it's going to ease in travel, ease in business. I was talking to somebody from Elijah just about two weeks ago. He was telling me that a bucket of sea crab and all of that, that they can get it at SLO for about 4,000 naira. And I laughed. You can imagine that bucket of lobster or sea crab coming to Lagos 